Listen carefully for the quiz at the end. This video is all about choosing your GCSE options. You will be asked to choose these in year 8 or 9. You then usually start your GCSEs when you are age 14 in year 10. GCSEs are known as level 2 qualifications. You need these to then go on and study other qualifications in the future. In most schools you will complete 9 GCSEs. These will be a mixture of core subjects and optional subjects. The grades that can be achieved in GCSEs are a grade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. 9 being the highest and 1 being the lowest. To achieve these grades of 1 to 9, you will complete exams. Some courses also include coursework. The core subjects are subjects that you have to take. These include English, Maths and Science. Science is combined science, which is worth two GCSEs. English is worth two GCSEs, one for language and one for literature, and Maths is one GCSE. In Wales, you may also study Welsh. It is likely that there will be other subjects on your timetable. However, you may not have to do a GCSE in these. These include physical education, religious studies, and some form of PHSE or citizenship. There will be optional subjects that you can choose from to make up to your nine GCSEs. Different schools have different options. History, geography, drama, languages, physical education, computer science, media, food, and others. Science is also an optional subject so that you can get an extra GCSE. You will be doing two GCSEs already in combined science, but you may choose to take triple science so that you come out with three GCSEs. You may consider this if you are thinking of doing A-levels in chemistry, biology or physics in the future. When considering what subjects to do, the key thing is to make sure you don't do what your friends are doing. Choose what's right for you. Think about what you enjoy. Think about your possible careers in the future. Keep your options open. Also, option blocks will have an impact. What can you pick together? Some things you might not be able to pick because they're in the same option block. In the future, on your CV, you will include the grades you have got for your GCSEs and what subjects you have taken. As you have to stay in education until you are 18, your next step will depend on how you do in your GCSEs. Most courses will require you to get five GCSEs at grade four or five and above. If you don't achieve a grade four in English or maths, you will then resit this whilst doing another course at college or sixth form. It's always good to think about the next step. This table shows that A-levels, T-levels and BTEC nationals and advanced apprenticeships are all level 3 qualifications. These would be your next set of options after completing your GCSEs. If you've liked what you've seen so far, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. What level is a GCSE grade 4 to 9? Is it 1, 2, 3 or 4? The answer is a level 2. On average, how many GCSEs do you take? It depends on your school, but usually 9. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and click notifications to hear about my next video.